Ford truck had fallen through the ice over at the Broads uh, by Alton, Rattlesnake Island. So we had lent them a hand with our trailer and we proceeded out there and sure enough, that truck was definitely there. And it was... Uh, and the guys were in it at that point? The, guy, the, guy, the truck was straight up. Headlights were straight up in the air. Uh, it's just like I said earlier, you point your flashlight out, that's exactly what it looked like. It was easy enough to find by looking at the lights. Uh, when we got there, the boys were all chopped up, cut up, uh, because they had gone through a small porthole. If you look at a pickup truck with a camper on, you'll see that the windows are very small, and these boys were pretty big. They managed their way through that window. The tailgate of the truck had fallen over, and the door had fallen open also in the jarmness of the accident. All the man's equipment had gone to the bottom of the lake, and they were talking about losing all their gear. If that's all they had lost, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the man lost his truck, obviously, when he got into it. The following morning, we tried to rescue the truck out. We got it out onto the lake with the uh, tow trucks that were involved. There was two tow trucks involved, and those two trucks had to be anchored to the lake in order to pull the truck up out. Okay, with chains, come along, and, and they pulled each other, a dead man sort of Oh, yeah, so, like sort when of they're moving a house or something. Yeah, sort of uh, apparatus that they were using. Um, also, well, the tow truck guy wanted uh, to charge the driver of the, the vehicle $10 an inch to drill the holes. Now, being an ice fisherman, ice fishing guys, we all hang together. If one needs help, we help one another. He wanted me to charge that guy $10 an inch to drill the holes. The holes were, the ice was about three foot thick that year, and there was numerous holes. We drilled bunches of holes. I couldn't do it to that guy. The following morning, he was still in shock. He was still in shock of the accident and he said his wife wouldn't let him go fishing ever again.